Good afternoon from myself and Gizmo, and welcome to Baft Books, and I'm back away from the donkey. Mm. I think I'm going to put a little Gizmo down. Oh, you comfy there. I'll just have a little kiss. Uh, <laughs> hello. Yes, hello. Anyway, uh, as I say, good afternoon. Um, I did a book pickup video, uh, I think it was last week, and I said that I wouldn't have stand been doing them. I'm actually doing another one today, and this is for a specific reason. Do you want to go? <coughs> Micah, shush. <coughs> and the specific reason is how for the holidays. <coughs> yeah, just letting everybody get quiet there. The specific reason is how for the holidays. Uh, the booklet. <coughs> Hello, my name is Duncan and welcome to Baft Books uh, from Back Away From The Donkey. Uh, if any of you saw my video I did last week, I said I'm not sure who's watching, if anybody's watching, I'm just speaking to myself, but anybody did, I said I would very rarely do uh, book pick up videos. Uh, but this week, I'm actually sort of going back on that a little bit. Partly it's due to Howl for the Holidays, which is an event by set up by the Book Eclectic. I'm going to put a link to her video down below, in which she and some hosts um, encourage everybody to read some books by uh, the Golden Age author, Hal Clement. Uh, even though I'm, I see myself as well read within science fiction, I've only read a few of Hal Clement's short stories. Part of the event is just to read sort of two or three more of his books. So, as you do, I went onto eBay and bought a few things. Uh, it was all from one job lot. All I will say is I've got all this stuff and it is the most well-packaged pack pack of books I've ever got from eBay. Um, I'm going to start with the non how Clement stuff I got in this package and maybe talk to you about a bit and then we'll go on to the how Clement. There's only two or three of them but I think it's quite interesting. Anyway, first book I got is Robert Highland's Glory Road. Okay, I've read this quite a few times, many times, but this book disappeared in what I now know as the Great Purge of the 1990s. It was a terrible time. And I lost my copy of that book, but I didn't lose it, it went. And this was the exact copy I had with the gorgeous Tim White, if you have a look at it, the gorgeous Tim White art on the front. And this was in this job lot, and I thought, ooh, excitement, so I can get that one back. So yes, uh, Robert Heinlein, Glory Road, one of his best books, I think, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let's move out of the way. And then the other things I got was a couple of um, Harry Harrison stainless steel wrap books. The reason I was really excited about these, this one, stainless steel wrap, I already own most of the books in the 1980s covers, which is, I think, Peter Elson did the covers on them. And um, they're really, really good. But I had to, this one excited me. This is mid 70s, and that is a Bruce Pennington. And Bruce Pennington is a fantastic artist. He did a famous one, if I find it on my shelf here, of June. His June cover, that's Bruce Pennington as well. I'm not the biggest fan of June as a novel, I think it's slightly overrated, but that artwork is gorgeous. But yeah, I've got some other Bruce Pennington stuff. So yes, so I've got the Stainless Steel Rats event with the Bruce Pennington art on the front. I also picked up, in the same job lot, they had a Stainless Steel Rat Saves the World. Not sure who this artist is, it's obviously not Bruce Pennington, I might have to do some research to find out who did this cover. But about a similar time, mid-70s. And now it's gone to the How Clement book, which was the main reason I picked up this job lot, because I wanted a few How Clement books for How for the Holidays. I said I don't know much about his work, I've said I've read a few of his short stories. Uh, and I said, this event is just like celebrating his work as an author. I know he's quite a big name, well, he was. And he was producing books up till, I'm not sure the year he died, but he made some in the late 90s and early 2000s, I think. So he must have been in his 80s about then. So the first one I picked up was, from this lot, was Ice World. And I love that cover. All I know is it's about an ice world. I'm looking forward to dipping into that. 
in the um, health of the holidays. And then one of his most famous books I'd heard of, but I've never read, is called Mission of Gravity. This interestingly is the Master Sci-Fi series, which was one of the previous ones to uh, something uh, to science fiction masterworks. There's about three series before they did science fiction masterworks with different authors, and I might actually go through them one day and explain the differences between them. But this was edited by Brian Aldiss and Harry Harrison, the whole other series, so they picked the books. There's actually four words in these which they aren't in the modern science fiction masterworks that you get. So yeah, so that's Mission to Gravity. I said it's one of his most well-known books. I said I've never read it. But then we have this gorgeous 90s cover on this. Fossil. This is quite an interesting one. I'm a huge, huge Isaac Asimov fan, as you would expect. And he created a universe in which other people played, basically. And I think in this there is two novels and three books of short stories. This is how Clement's novel called Fossil. Um, these books are really hard to get hold of in this country. Uh, they seem to be more freely available in America, but in this country, I'm not even sure they release them properly over here, but I've only seen them around. There's, uh, diplomat, uh, there's a diplomacy one, which is the first one. I'm trying to get hold of them all. I said I'm a big Asimov fan, so even something written in his universe. And I said, this is quite interesting because it'll be how Clement writing within the constraints of that universe. So I'm quite excited to read that one. But yeah, as I said, I'm quite excited for how for the holidays. I said I'll put the links to uh, the Booklectic's original video and there's a couple of co-hosts as well and I'll put their videos down below as well and see if you wish to um, join everybody. I said I'm going to make some videos on these separate books as I read them or maybe do a video on all three. And I said it's just, the whole point is just to read some How Clement books over the holiday season. Um, so once again, uh, thank you very much. Thank you anybody for who's watching. And if you're any scratches, it's a little gizmo trying to get in here. As you saw, I was having problems at the beginning, if you look at the outtake at the beginning. So thanks very much, and bye-bye.